Um, I'm just saving the latest of the sprite sheets. These are pretty close to ready. Um, Good but... evening, Munster. Hello, Munster. Um, I'm not quite ready to do that yet. So do you want to show off your stuff? I can try. Uh... <laughs> We're very professional. Organized, yeah. Also, Mikey and I had a really interesting conversation that I want to kind of circle back to about Project Zomboid. And I have kind of a love-hate relationship with this game. So I, if we have time, we should circle back to that later. Yep. So let's uh, let's drop down into... I, I learned quite a bit whilst playing with assets as well. Let me switch my... Mm. Mm. I'm doing well here. Oh, there we go. There's both of us on the screen. Right. I knew it was one of those buttons. Super pro. So let's just clear up the screen. Turn off this so we can have a look around. So I'm just plopping stuff together in this file at the moment. Um, and one thing that I've been working on is how do we have a corridor with with a decent amount of, of, of detail on it without being too high poly? And one of the things that I uh, sort of came across was the fact that low poly doesn't necessarily mean low detail. Mm. Have I hidden the floor? No, I haven't. It's just the way it looks. So we've got a simple archway here which duplicated in an array and then moved around really adds to the wall. Yep. And there, th this is, this is still prototype. I will point that out at the moment. <laughs> We've got a funky doorway coming through and this, I, 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 I've been playing around with how to make a, a right angled bend because one of the things that we all want is a series of uh, varying corridors. So we have here this, this kind of moving around. It was difficult to make sure that things are aligned. So one of the things you can do, well, this appears to be two things on top of one another there. One of the things you can uh, do is actually put detail on top of itself, but you can end up with things cutting through. And I don't want to make bespoke pieces for the, uh, yeah. for the actual corner pieces. So I'm trying to work out a way of making sure that that is both covered up and makes sense. I mean, bespoke pieces, they're fine. But I don't want to have to have a bespoke piece on absolutely every single, uh, every single one. And one thing I will just show off really quickly is what this looks like. And obviously this isn't Godot, but the point being you've got to have some idea of how it might look. But putting some lighting under the underneath these archways, the thing looks really, oh, really nice. Gorgeous. I like really nice work. And so I want I want to get in this over into Godot, Godot as soon as possible just to see what it's going to be like with their 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 new lighting engine i think it's going to end up looking absolutely fabulous it may even look better than this <laughs> such yeah. as such as thing this isn't lit at the moment so we don't get that it's pretty yeah. lit <laughs> so yeah uh that that's coming along and there we go uh yeah just playing around with it and getting getting the modularity together and making sure that you don't have to repeat yourself too much like a lot of that is a mirror of an array, then mirrored, and then arrayed again, and then arrayed with an offset with a mirror, and it it takes, it's <clears throat> it sounds confusing. It can be a bit difficult to keep track of. It's a little confusing. Yeah, <laughs> but ultimately you get you get you model one thing, and you're duplicating it lots and twisting it round, and it forms everything together. And I've just noticed there's a problem higher up, but you guys didn't see that, did you? No, no. it's fine. Fine. No one saw nothing. <laughs> yes, definitely nice and moody. We're aiming for well, some areas are going to be more lit than others in the. I mean, that's part of what we're exploring the in the RPG course is how to get the most out of the the new rendering system, the new particle systems, um, the new lighting system. I mean, the, just everything you can do to make it as atmospheric as possible. Yeah, because there's so much you can do, and being able to switch between environments um, at runtime is just going to be huge. I'm looking forward to that. Yep. So while that's been going on, I've been working on the 2D assets. Um, and I can show some of those. Uh, kid called me from a second. Did I miss anything important? Well, we don't know when you went, but we've released the first course for God of Everyone called Rock Paper Toucan. And Michael showed off some assets. And we released the bundle for God of for Everyone, although currently there's only one course in it. More is coming and will be added to it. Um, 
Oh yeah, the the, the particle system is is amazing in God of War. Like I'm a huge fan. Just the ability to add in random turbulence. Yeah. Just oh, that looks so nice. What? Well, it, it makes a difference because b b beforehand both the torches kind of looked the same. They both flicker off this way or flicker off that way. But now they they are completely independent. Which just even though they're the same thing, it's great that they look like independently. Yep. Independently object. I think. Words. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, shall I show off the idea with these uh, sprite sheets? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, entire screen, screen two. Boom. All right. Let's see if that's working. So this is just a little um, test pen for sprite sheets, right? So all we have is we have Legit Penguin waddling along, and I can jump and fall, I can do the lost pose, I can do the victory pose. Um, and so far, I mean, it's it's adorable, right? It's I, I love this thing. And you'd normally be zoomed out further than this, but it gives you an idea. But what if the, the student doesn't want to use a penguin or wants to make their own game with a similar looking asset? So the idea is we also have these other sprite sheets. So I can go into this character and let's uh, change the warp animation. I'm just going to get rid of all of these. They're all set up the same way with the same frames in the same places. So if you know what you're looking for, we can go into, let's say, anybody. And I know that the walk animations are from here to here. And let's do the idle animations. And do, 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 do. We have front ones as well. Um, no, no, no. Uh, and if we want them to be replaceable, that's even worse. Um, let's see, jump is that one. Fall. Do, 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 do. I mean, obviously, you normally wouldn't do this this many times, but uh, fall is that one. Uh, victory. Do, 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 uh, is those three and loss doo, 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 is yep all right so now we have annie bunny so if i jump in here completely different walk cycle different loss different victory so that's the idea, right? Plug and play out um, assets. Now, if you wanted to make it so you could choose your character in the game, you'd obviously do it so you'd pre-organize uh, these animated sprites and then just switch them out in code. This is literally just, let's have a 2D character moving around so I can see how these animations work. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with how they're turning out. The bunny's got a lot of character. Um, the bunnies are a little bit different. I don't have a button here to show the, the idle animation, the wait animation. Um, I might do that real quick. Shall we put in a wait animation? Okay. Uh, input map. Uh, we're going to call you wait. Um, uh, wait is 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 the R key, as everyone knows. Let's just put that in. Um, input. Oh, wait, that's, there we go. <laughs> Hooray is action. Uh, just pressed, and we just added wait. This is
I'm, I'm missing frames. Why am I missing frames? Uh, hang on a second. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Did I not? I did. I know I did. Let's just open my Libra sprite. Yeah. Sprite. Uh, Annie Bunny. It's right there. I can I can see you. Okay, fine. Export sprite sheets. Which was the which is the paid fork of it, I believe. I think. Ha -ha. Uh, it doesn't have quite the same functionality. The paid version does have extra functions. There we go. Do we want uh, to wait from the front or from the side? What do you think? Oh. All right. So now we have wait animations. Uh, I don't actually want that looping. Let's try that again. Uh, 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 uh. So yeah, the idea is after 30 seconds, she checks her phone. And that's her new colors as well. Um, meanwhile, Avery gets a newspaper out. Uh, Legit blows bubble gum. I don't know what Space Penguin's gonna do. We still have to do Boris, we still have to do Tukey. Um, I kind of want to do Bob, but he's a sphere. So there's no real animations to do. <laughs> that's just kind of trolling. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stop sharing, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to switch this back. Uh, what would be very interesting is, whilst Bob is kind of a sphere in terms of collision, he doesn't have to be. So we could actually get it animating so that he, if he's got a chin, he can also go go round and actually have a uh, a non-circular motion going round. That would be quite interesting. It would, like, follow a path. Yes. How do you feel about actually... <laughs> So I had this idea that the bunny's walk cycle wouldn't be a traditional walk cycle, but just hop. Mm. And I felt all proud of myself because if it's a hop, I don't need eight frames. I could just do four frames and repeat it, and it'd be great. Didn't occur to me that that's going to introduce sliding. Uh huh. And I actually had to go and tweak the actual animation frame so that the center of gravity is in a different place, so it doesn't look like sliding. <laughs> it's 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 amazing the. Uh, that kind of goes back to whether or not you're using what's known as a root motion when it comes to animating. Um, so you could make it that your, your character moves at a set speed and therefore the animation <laughs> lines up perfectly. Or you can have root animation where you can end up in in a nasty position with that. So uh, the reason I'm, I'm laughing right now is I mentioned Bob as a joke and then Mikey's all like, oh, that could be really interesting. You could do a thing. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. So I'm like, I immediately get an iron from my girlfriend going, I want to animate Bob. <laughs> Go for it. Um, you you do you. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoy this little sprite sheets, but the idea is we'll obviously give you what you need for the course. If you yeah. want to get the additional stuff, um, you know, we'll price it cheaply because they're, they're small sprite sheets. Um, you can have them. You can use them in your games. You don't have to credit us. They're, they're yours to yeah. use. And um, if you don't want them, just use the stuff that comes free with the course. Yeah, we're going to make sure that all of the assets, whether... Uh... Whether you've bought the reduced pack through a course or the full pack separately, um, the licensing is going to be incredibly free. It's, go it's going to be, you can use them basically however you like. Star terms and conditions do apply because we can't say that because someone will, re will repack them into another asset pack, which is probably right. the one thing that we're going to forbid from doing. Yeah, no, I mean, if we're giving them out as an asset pack, you're not allowed to give them out as an asset pack. That's... It, it, it's it's quite common it's it's common with most asset packs in, and music ones as well you'll find that when you're buying instruments Kenny, Kenny yes. got very upset because he's released stuff on CC0 and he found that someone's been re-releasing his stuff and charging for it that's the downside of CC0 unfortunately yep um, we, we've looked at all sorts of licensing and um, I'm not sure what, what spec we're going to go for whether it's uh, it won't be GPL I don't think but, but the licensing will be very um very open anyway so people can use them how they want whether it's commercially for personal products etc yep 